In this video, we're going to take a look at an OSINT challenge that I created for Integris' Lease Up Live CTF 2024. It's probably going to be called No Common, and you just get this image to download called ripple.jpg, which has a psychedelic imagery on it. So we're going to want to analyze the image, and maybe the first thing we do is have a look to see if there are any strings in it. There are quite a lot, so you could do that again and give a minimum number, say you only want strings that are greater than 10 but there are still quite a lot in here. Some other things we could do, maybe there would be some stego in there. So we could use something like steg hide or zsteg to see if there's something embedded in it. We could use like foremost or bin walk to see if there are some files inside of that, like not steganography, but just files embedded in it. Or one other thing we could do is check the exif data. And that's what we want to do here, exif tool, or you can use your tool of choice. You can use Cyberchef or something like that. And we pass in ripple, we we'll get back to the data that's associated with the image. I actually cleared all of the data. This was an image that I took last month. And you'll notice in here we have a common, and it looks like a URL path or a file path that's in here. A little bit of research, you'll find that imager URLs will start with slash A or slash G, so that's slash album or slash gallery, followed by a code like this. So basically, you want to take this and go to imager.com. And then we just put in that file path and that should take us to the image. This wasn't my original intention. I will talk later about what I originally intended to do for the challenge and the problems that I ran into. But we open it up and we'll see this dead and company 2024. We've got what looks like a base 64 encoded message. So let me go and open up Cyberchef and we will decode it there. So paste it in, we'll go, oh, not two hex. We will go from base 64. And we see this message it says, what a long, strange trip it's been. That's in quotes with some underscores. And we've got a paste bin URL as well. Let's go to the paste bin URL. And OK, it's given us a warning. I'm kind of surprised at that. Is uh, an issue with the paste bin certificate? OK, interesting. Well, we get through to it anyway, and it says that it's got a password. Well, a bit of a hint here that it's in quotes and has the underscores. So I'm going to take a copy of that and tried to unlock the paste. And here we go. We've got a message that was posted by Dead Co 2024 and what looks like some hex in here. So maybe we'll go here and try and convert that from hex. And oh, what am I missing? From hex it is for some reason just showing me the old stuff. Oh, here we go. Okay. All right. That doesn't look very readable. So maybe that's not right. Maybe it would be a hash. You could have a look. It's 82 characters. Doesn't sound very lightly. Let us then try to XOR this. Let's try and XOR it with the same key that we just used. And it wasn't in hex, it was in UTF-8 or Latin 1. And we do that, and now we get back the flag. It's got an Instagram reel, which was just a short video clip of this concert. I mentioned that this wasn't my original intention. What I actually tried to do was to put in here an author, and then I put in a username, and the username was linked to I think it was flickr.com. Yeah, so I went and set this up. I created a new email and an account on here, and I uploaded the same image. And my kind of intention was either you would find it from the username, or you could use something like TinEye or Google's reverse image search to find the same image on the site. And then in the profile, you would find the name of, oh, sorry, you would find the pastebin link in the profile. And then on the image itself would be a message containing the password. So you'd kind of put those pieces together, you'd go to Pastebin and then you'd finish the rest of it. Unfortunately, whenever I created this account, I went and set it all up, uploaded the image, and then whenever I did that, it like banned my account. It just suddenly said I couldn't log in anymore with the password. I tried to register the same account again, and it just said you're unable to register with this email address, which was just a, an Outlook email address. So yeah, it didn't seem to like the Pastebin link that I added. So I went for this instead. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, as ever, leave them down below. Thanks.